Hey, what's up guys? Before we get into today's Two Minute Tuesday topic, I have two announcements I wanna throw out. First of all, a huge shout out to Robert Poole. Uh, we did an interview last week. The interview went live on his blog. I'm gonna to link to that down below. He has some amazing questions and I hope I did them some justice. So go over and check that out. Also check out Robert and his work. I think you're gonna really enjoy the work that he's putting out. Second announcement is the All Format Collective Instagram account. I'm doing a takeover all week long. So the All Format is a collective that I've been a part of for the last six months. And uh, I'm doing a week long takeover to where I'm sharing a ton of unreleased work, including some color work. It's already posted over there. So I hope you guys go check that out. Also be watching the stories over there because I'm gonna be posting up some behind the scenes stuff and some, um, I don't know, bonus features or something, whatever you wanna call it over on the stories. We'll do a Instagram live uh, chat over there at some point this week. I don't know when. So just be following along with the uh, account and uh, just be watching along and show me some of support over there and then check out some of the other photographers that are posting over there on a regular basis. Now for today's Two Minute Tuesday topic, it's actually a topic that, as these always start, that I've been wrestling through for the last few months, um, but then also a topic that I was talking to a buddy of mine, Jalen Buer, who is a amazing amateur photographer, a uh, musician, a pointillist artist, and uh, just an all around amazing dude. And uh, we were talking today over some coffee, and the, the topic that kind of came up, at, as I would say, that I've written down in my journal in the past is, today's ceiling is tomorrow's floor. And, and the way that I would explain this, or the way that it came up in conversation today was, Jalen was talking about his first like solo album that he put out. Um, just put it out a couple months back to where he recorded and mixed and did the entire thing from start to finish himself. And in that process, he was learning what to do, learning what uh, he should do, what he shouldn't do, what worked, what maybe didn't work. And you know, he was talking about how that project went forward and he got a great response from people, but it didn't necessarily do the things that he wanted it to. But then again, it also informed and uh, equipped him to be able to jump into the second album that much better. He said that he's been able to find a, a much better rhythm going through the second album and he's been able to kind of rock and roll right through it to, uh, to just, I mean, he's already four songs in and he just started it a couple weeks ago. So uh, I was thinking about this and we started talking about this idea of today's ceiling is tomorrow's floor and how the projects that we create right now or the projects that we've created in the past will begin to inform the projects that we create in the future. And you know, last week on the Two Minute Tuesday topic, we talked about creative depression and, and struggles and just this creative ruts that we get into to where sometimes we look at the projects that we've either done or that we're working on and we just think, you know, what is this actually doing? It's not doing what I anticipated it might do or what I'd hoped that it might do. But at the same time, we need to realize we're in this for the long run. We've talked about it in the past, but I think in understanding that every project that we do will inform the next project that we do. I think about Annie Leibovitz and her days back with the Rolling Stones magazine and how each of those portrait shoots and those different uh, you know, editorial and commercial shoots would inform the work that she's doing today. I think about the work that I've been sharing from Maine over on the All Format Collective Instagram and this work that I created in 2016, I look back when I created it, it was something that I thought was extremely special and, and amazing and I, I still really like it but I look back at it and in some ways it falls short of the things that I anticipated that it would do. But at the same time, back in 2016, creating that work was a pivotal moment in my photography that informed the things that I'm creating today. It released me to do the things that I'm creating today. And I could only imagine what it is that I'm creating today that will release me to do the things that I'll create tomorrow. And I wanna have this conversation with you guys. And we've talked about it in a little bit in the past, but at the same time, Jalen and I were both sharing today like, We've heard this stuff in the past, but at the same time, sometimes we need to hear it multiple times in order for it to really resonate or in order for it to really release us into what it is that we should be doing or to continue doing. So I'd love to hear you guys' comments down below and uh, let's just get this conversation started here. But then as always, we're gonna jump in the live stream later on today at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard here on YouTube Live. 
And we're gonna really break this topic down even further. So if you're new to the channel, I'd love for you to check out some of the other videos. We have tons of tutorials, but then also mostly what we do here on the channel is we come together as a community and really dive into topics like this, these bite-sized nuggets, and really just rip them apart as a community and, uh, and just encourage each other and build each other up. So we hope that you'd be a part of our community. Go ahead and subscribe, like, all that stuff down below, and then uh, go check out the, uh, the interview over on Robert Poole's website, and then check out the All Format Collective and follow along with the story over there as well. I look forward to seeing you guys at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard here on YouTube Live later on today. And until then, go and push yourselves two stops. Peace.